Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron 3481 and the regulatory model for this one is a P89G and those information can be found on the bottom of the laptop on the bottom sticker which on the left side you can see the Inspiron 3481 on the right side you will say Reg model which is regulatory model P89G and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can speed up the laptop dramatically by just replacing the mechanical drive or add an uh, additional solid state drive which will you have to install the windows on the new drive and i'm going to go over by variety of the combination that you can have which and which one is the best combination that you should have all right first thing first we're going to open it up or before we do that i recommend you guys to back up your files to an external drive or to storage uh, cloud somewhere because once you replace the hard drive, you will not have any operating system on the computer. I made a really short video how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in the video description. If you guys want to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive, it's free and you can do it. And I made another video how to install Windows 10 properly on your laptop. So you don't have those blot words and easy installation. You can follow any of my Windows 10 installation video and at the end of this video i'm going to show you guys how to boot this usb drive if you want to know all right let's get into it and let's open it up first thing first you want to grab a screwdriver set you're going to be using an iFixit screwdriver as they have one of the best bits out there these are s2 class steel bit i mean they will last you many years you're going to be using a phillips number one and at the bottom of here there's a all these screws are the same size and height but three of these screws will not come out. They have a little C lock on the other side of the screw that will prevent it from coming out. They have a little purpose and I'm gonna explain the purpose for those screws. We're not gonna to touch the screw, this one, this one, and this one. There's this RJ45 jack here, internet jack. So we're not gonna to touch these three screws for now. We're gonna remove all the rest of the screws and we're gonna keep them in one pile. Go ahead and remove them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out and you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe, I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. Alright, now that we remove all the screws except these three, and I'm going to show you guys the reason for these screws. As you can see, the laptop, the palm rest, it is really closed down here. So, as soon as we open the screws in here is going to push the palm rest away from itself so it's going to make it easy for you to open the laptop you guys can see that little gap opening right there so i'm going to remove this other one there we go so that's the reason for the c lock on there there once we do a few turns on them that should be enough now easily we can just grab ourselves a guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick, and we're gonna stick it between the palm rest and the bottom cover, just like this. And we're just gonna continue lifting up the case. You wanna hear big click sounds, that's what you wanna hear. Those click sounds, that, those are the clips that are getting loose. You wanna do this all around. Go to the back side corner, right there. And then you wanna close down the laptop, and bring up, grab it from the front side up, wiggle it around, and it will release itself. All right, down here we're gonna see the hard drive right here, and there's a SSD M.2 drive, which they will actually, this is a nice thing that they include you with a screw right on it, so there's the screw for it. Now, the combination that I would recommend you guys to grab yourself an NVMe hard drive or M.2 is compatible with M.2. Because these are iCore 7, 7 gen. If yours is not 7 gen, it's not going to be NVMe compatible. But if it's a 7 gen, it is NVMe compatible. The NVMe compatibles, they have one notch on them. The M.2 SATA, they have two notch on them. To place the NVMe on, the, on this socket, you want to bring it down in 10 degree. And you want to slide it all the way inside the jack. Push it towards the jack until it does a tiny click. Then you want to bring it down towards the screw hole and then put the screw right in it. And then make sure that you put it in and you pull it out in 10 degree or 10, 15 degree. And you want to slide it out, put it in 
slide it all the way towards the jack and then toward the motherboard. So I recommend you guys to put a one terabyte, two terabyte NVMe drive or M.2 drive in here and put your Windows installation on here, which will be much, much faster. And in here on this side, you can format this one to keep it as a, your secondary storage. Put a two terabyte mechanical drive, which is really suitable. It has to be a low profile mechanical drive, not a thick profile. To remove the hard drive, I removed four screws on the caddy. The caddy is a little bracket that holds the hard drive in place. So the four screws, and then we can pick up the bracket and with the hard drive, but do not pull on the cable, pull on the jack itself and slide it out. So there's one you Western Digital, one terabyte. And to remove the bracket from here to put the new drive in, let's say I have a, for example, 250 gigabyte SSD drive right in here. I recommend you guys grab a Samsung brand, which are really good brand. The client brought me this one because low budget, I guess. You wanna make sure that the power connector and the SATA connector are facing the same directions. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove these four screws, we're gonna remove the bracket and we're gonna mount it on the new one. Again, you don't need to remove the battery for this at all. For this servicing, you do not need to remove or disconnect the battery. It's absolutely not necessary. So we're gonna grab it in this position. We're gonna put the new one. I highly recommend the first combination to put an NVMe M.2 right over here and put a mechanical driver in here if you have a budget for it. But if not, you can just grab an SSD drive and put it right in here. <clears throat> All right, once you have the SSD installed, just grab the adapter, plug it in, set it down, Make sure the screw holes are matching. And put the four screws on the caddy. All right. If you have disconnected the battery, plug it back in. If you want to know how to disconnect the battery, you have to rip this paper up and just pull the jack backward. And that's it. But no need to. So what are we going to do? We're going to put the bottom cover on. Squeeze down every corner except the this triangle right there in here as when you start screwing it down it's going to pull the bottom cover to itself and the rest of the screws goes all over the bottom casing i'm just going to quickly screw this one in and we're going to boot up to the windows usb boot drive so you guys can see it all right i don't know if there's any battery in this one but let me see, I'm gonna plug in the USB. As soon as you plug in the USB, when you power on, you wanna press F, tap on F12. So I'm gonna power on, I'm gonna tap on F12, and it should take me to boot menu. So I get the Dell logo, I'm gonna keep tapping. Per paying one time boot, it says right there on the top. Once we're in here, it says choose your boot. I'm gonna choose my Kingston U UEFI USB. And that's it. The screen might flicker, go a little bit of shape in this and that. Don't worry about it. It's normal. Just wait, give it a few seconds, and it's gonna stop booting up. There's nothing wrong with it. There's, it's kind of a little glitch. So pretty much if you wait, there's a Windows logo. All these lines, they're gonna go away, don't worry. So you see, the line goes away, and then you can just click Next install and choose terms and condition so i accept the terms next you want to click custom install and you want to choose your drive you have to make sure delete all the partitions if there's any delete button delete them and then click next and it will install it on the new drive and if you want to follow the exactly the proper way of doing, watch one of any of my Windows installation guide. 
and you'll be set in the Windows as desktop within five to 10 minutes. I hope this video helped you guys out. And if you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.